taking a look at 13 First Alert Desert Doppler. You can already see some little bit of green activity kind of heading our direction. We haven't seen a whole lot of action this monsoon season yet. Right, and living in the desert means two things. Of course, that we have to prepare when there is no water so that we are re ready and set to go in case it suddenly floods. Just like in this video of a rescue from last year that you can see. Now, 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marin is at the Springs Preserve inside a flash flood exhibit where she is learning how quickly disaster can happen. We are about to get stuck in a flash flood. Take a look at this. The water is about to roll down here. There it goes. About 5,000 gallons of water will fill this room here at the Springs Preserve. This is their flash flood exhibit simulating what it is like to be stuck in one of these dangerous situations. Now we are standing on a platform, so we are safe, but there are a few things that you need to know as we head into monsoon season. Since neighborhoods can take just minutes to flood, you'll always want to know if you are near or in a flood zone. The Regional Flood Control District can let you know if you're unsure. Also, if you find yourself in a flash flood, try to find higher ground or just stay home. You want to keep kids away from the washes and never drive through deep water. It only takes a foot of water to sweep your car or truck off the road. And remember the saying, turn around, don't drown. Just like the sun is a part of the desert, we just don't think of the rain because it happens so infrequently. They happen very quickly and they can be very, very dangerous. Well, this whole room takes about 30 seconds to flood and it comes quick. It comes fast, just like a real flash flood. Very unpredictable, but do you know why we flood to begin with? I'll explain in our next half hour. Reporting from the Springs Preserve, Leslie Manning, 13 Action News.